Imagine if you went to grab some popcorn, because you know how popcorn, it's delicious. I love popcorn. But imagine if you went to grab in it, grab it, and it was like prickly. Like the container was like prickly. What if there was prickly popcorn? That's the question that we're going to answer today in this video art tutorial. We're going to be designing prickly popcorn. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we're going to be doing some prickly popcorn, so we're going to grab our lovely mark maker. Prickly popcorn, here we go. That's gonna be weird, isn't it? All right, so with the popcorn container, that's gonna be extra prickly today. We're gonna draw it actually on a three quarter angle. So we're gonna draw a wide letter V. So we're gonna add some perspective into this. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna take our finger, we're gonna put it in the middle of that V, bring it down towards the bottom of your page. So we're imagine we're making a straight line. And then right on top of that finger, we're gonna put a dot. So add dot there. And we're gonna do it two more times. We're gonna take our finger, put it on one of the sides, bring it down, but we're not gonna go as far. We're gonna go a little higher, put a dot. And we're gonna do it on this side too. So the other side, we're gonna draw an invisible line and put a dot. And it's gonna be the same as this side. So these two are a almost the same height, the best you can do. <clears throat> All right, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna connect those dots along the bottom. So we're gonna draw another letter V, essentially a wide letter V to connect those dots. And then we're going to draw three straight lines down. So we're not gonna use any of our rulers. We're gonna do our best lines. Now we're gonna leave some gaps in these. So we're gonna leave some gaps for our prickles. So they're gonna be dashed lines. However you wanna do it. Same down this one. Perfect. All right, so next, we're gonna draw a face. So we're gonna draw the face on this side here. Now we're gonna give it, well, it's prickly, so it's kind of mischievous. So let's draw two more Vs, but this side we're going this time we're gonna do them on sideways. So we're gonna do sideways letter Vs. And the farther this one here that's farther away is gonna be a little smaller. Now we're gonna draw the mouth, but the mouth line is going to be parallel with these top lines. So we're gonna draw a straight line or a diagonal straight line, but it's going to be parallel. Same distance apart as these lines here. So they're all going the same direction. And then you can draw a U shape, making this, this side closest to us, or closer to the center a little bit longer than the other side. Okay, inside the mouth, we're going to draw the letter M. And then you can go ahead and color in the dark of that mouth, leaving just that M nice and white. Boom, boom, boom. And then I like to add some expressive lines using the chisel or the most fine point of my marker, the smallest point. All right, let's add some prickles. So wherever we have these dashed lines, we're gonna draw more letter V's, guys. This is just letter V's, we can do this. If you can draw the letter V, you can make prickles too. Wherever you want. I'm gonna do these prickles along this middle line outward because then if I did them the other way, going on to the face, I'm gonna do them strategically this way. Make them different directions because they're prickles. All right, let's add more prickles. And 
and maybe there's some peeking out from the opposite side. So I'm gonna have some also coming out in between. But I'm gonna make them smaller so they look farther away over there. So now it looks extra prickly. Now, it's popcorn, so I'm going to like draw some stripes. So I'm gonna draw some straight lines, my best straight lines that I can do. I'm gonna skip over these guys here. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna also skip over the face. I'm just gonna draw some straight lines. I'm gonna make those those popcorn stripes, like the red and white stripes later on. Look how prickly that is. How, how, how sad would it be that your container of popcorn that you wanted to eat so bad was all prickly and you can't, you can't hold it? That'd be awful. All right, let's add some popcorn in here with some curving lines. <laughs> So first we're gonna make just some bumpy, billowing, curving lines and stack up our popcorn pieces. Yum. Makes me want to eat some popcorn. How about you? Maybe one more. There we go. And then in those ones, I'm gonna get that fine mark again. My little, I'm gonna add some more bumps. Cause you know how kernels are kind of bumpy all over, right? So we gotta add some more lines in there and use line to create the texture of bumps on our design here. So use line to create texture. Okay, and now we're gonna also, let's get really cool here. We're gonna use some hatching lines to create a shadow down here. Now I'm gonna drag them far out to make some beautiful hatching lines to use line to create a shadow instead of shading it. Oh yeah. All right, and once you've done that, you are ready to color. So if you're using a felt marker like me, make sure you put your lid back on to take care of that click. If not, you can grab whatever, or put away whatever you were using, and then grab whatever you want to color with and join me in coloring in your amazing prickly popcorn. Now when I do these prickles, my red stripes, because I'm doing stripes on mine, I'm gonna leave a little white stripe on the top of any of the red areas because, and it's gonna look like a highlight. It'll make that prickle stand out a little bit more. And I'm gonna skip because I'm gonna do white, but I might shade gray. Anyways, you color yours however you want. It's your art, you make it the way you like it. And you can also pick whatever you want to color with and go ahead and color in your prickly popcorn.
And once you're done, your prickly popcorn is done.